Just want to give a brief um, update on what's really happened. Um, we as a thank you. We as a New Zealand Punjabi Multimedia Trust as part of our charter, we promote art and culture and uh, we hosted our fourth uh, art painting competition at the uh, Radio Spice last week and we graciously asked our winners from all the categories to actually uh, you know, bring their paintings and uh, also work with our library staff. We are hosting a special dialogue with the ones who actually made the paintings and painted their way to winning our competition. So we had three categories. Uh, starting from the young age and then our teenagers and then the open category which was basically uh, all the adults. So thank you for taking time for being here and uh, first of all uh, we want to acknowledge the, um, our Papatoe Library for, for being a wonderful host as they always are. So everybody, you know, uh, we will acknowledge at the end. But let's get started. So you all had a look at the paintings and they are in fact, uh, they were based on three different themes and we will discuss that very quickly. But um, first of all, I would like the uh, library host to fix uh, start and then we'll be done. Roseanne, would you like to? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Round of applause for Roseanne. Yeah. A beautiful sunshine, so we're really blessed. So we're really thrilled to have the um, third New Zealand Punjabi painting competition here because we've been fortunate for both you to celebrate at Radio Spice and for the winners to come here and share their lovely paintings with us. And it's always interesting to hear with, with what's behind them as well. And it's lovely to have the whanau here, so all the family members who support everyone in their painting. And I can see a few familiar faces in the audience, but I can also see some new people, so uh, that's the interest of the new winners as well. And it's lovely great that this has grown, and every year it's going to grow more and more. And it's just um, so amazing that we have so many talented people. We have both artists, singers, and I might just do a little private just now and then I'll get to that stage. This afternoon at 4 o'clock we are having the closing ceremony for the Matariki celebration. So that's the Otara Papatoe celebrations. And again at Otara Marae on Saturday and they are completed this afternoon. So everyone is welcome to so thank you, Matt Ted, and also I'd like to acknowledge Radio Spice, the great partners in the community and the community. We really appreciate our community. We do that Thank you, Matt Ted. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Roseanne. Uh, and uh, of course, I'll come to the closing ceremony, and I recommend all the families to come to the Matariki closing down ceremony. Uh, we also want to acknowledge um, Hajinda Singh Basalaji, who has come from the Jaffa Hero. He's a fantastic supporter of uh, creative arts and also the um, a founding member of the New Zealand Punjabi um, uh, Language Week as well. So, when are we having that? What is that's going to be in first, November, right? First week of November. First week of November. Yeah. Yeah. So, keep an eye for that and we will be providing more information on that. Uh, and, and it is actually uh, now acknowledged nationally as a uh, language week, so we uh, will be going to different schools to do that. But just to get started, the third New Zealand Punjabi um, competition, 
Um, so, so the five to ten year old, um, the, Larry, uh, the, the theme was um, Mother Earth, and ten to sixteen it was the Javi diaspora, living abroad, and sixteen it was multiculturalism. So let's start from five to ten. So can the five to ten year old winners kindly come to the front and we'll start from there. Wonderful. Clapping, please clapping. Very good. Thank you. Come on. So let's begin with introducing yourself, your name, and uh, I would like uh, you to stand by your painting and tell us more about your painting. Hello, I'm Amber. I'm nine years old, and this is my painting. Just tell about the painting, something about the painting. This year's theme was Mother Earth. So I decided to draw Mother Earth and how we can save it. So here I wrote things that we can do and a few of the three R's. Which, and I wrote restore, replenish, reduce, reuse, recycle. And I draw what we're planting. And I, sh and I showed how Mother Earth, if we do not treat her with care, that she will eventually look like this. Very good. Very good. Well Wonderful. So, round of applause uh, and uh, yourself. Inam Thoda. And Dilpreet, can you tell us where's your painting? Thodi painting, which was yours? Mother Earth, that is yours. Well, that looks very colorful. Tell, tell us more about it, Abhijit. Abhijit, sorry. Other thing. Abhijit, can you tell us more about Punjabi. Punjabi. You can say in Punjabi. Punjabi, what do you want to say? Mother Earth, you can save us. I guess the future is bright with the young one describing the reasons he's put different, uh, you know, uh, descriptive, save the water, plant trees. So let's acknowledge them. And so uh, let's start with Manvi. Congratulations, Manvi. A big round of applause. Uh, a small appreciation by the library. Thank you. And of course, Adam. Thank you. Very good. Well uh, done. Later on, we will be asking another parent uh, um, and a child who actually entered this category. They're here to speak about it, but we will continue with our next category. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. So let's uh, move to the next category. So uh, the 10th to the 16-year-old Punjabi diaspora um, and living abroad. So I would like uh, the winners to come to the stage. Alright, wonderful. So let's start with yourself and uh, if you could take us through to your uh, painting and introduce yourself. My name is Mishika and this is my painting. It represents what Sikhs have done in our community and all over the world. Like there's a policeman, a hockey player, a teacher and there's also a lunker. It's really important that we contribute to our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Here's your opportunity. Hi everyone, my name is Hazel and this is Tell us more about it. And this painting is a strong that I've seen in India. Yeah? 
I've seen people like doing um, people like doing um, PD like animals to come like, to visit other countries. Mm -hmm. So there's like many four stages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the first one talks about how people are like doing PD animals, and second, um, and they are like going to another country. They're doing jobs there and trying to earn money and finally um, they, they got their own house very good well done very well thoughtful. done very thoughtful indeed uh, and um, I'm not sure. my name is Mary um, yes. um, uh, and I'm Mike Korak, Mike Korak. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of the life of the life of the life of the life of the the uh, you know, um, Abroad. different parts of the world. Basically, they also like to stay together, and especially the elderly like to uh, you know, converse with each other. So that was really the essence. Next one. No, well, give then. the price, please. Uh, sorry. Uh, is there anybody else? I think there was a third sheet. You were the one. No. Yeah. So yeah, already third. Yeah. So big round of applause for all three of them, and let's give them a round. Of all right, so we move to the next category. Okay. All right, thank you, folks. We'll come back to you very shortly. Um, now, finally, 16 year old and above, and that's multiculturalism. So, all the winners, if you can come to the stage. So, this was an open category, and all the winners uh, who, in fact, participated. Uh, so come on through. So, in fact, this this is a category that um, had some very emotive uh, paintings that came through and uh, were well received, acknowledged, and the work is just uh, you know mind blowing. So, I'd like to start from this end, and if you could introduce yourself and the painting and the thought process behind that. A very good morning, everyone. My name is Pankaj Bhavri. Um, so this is my painting. It represents multiculturalism. As I have shown, like being a migrant, I have seen in five years that we have been progressing just only because we are going hand in hand. So despite of any culture, caste, creed, we all are one. So I have shown basically a kiwi, it's the form of a kiwi and we are part of it. Say be it like any culture, whatever we are, it's Maori, it shows like Hinduism, it shows Sikhism. We have been growing all together hand in hand. That's what basically I have learned in five years. So whatever is it, we go in harmony. Thank you. Well done. Uh, hello, good afternoon to all of you. So, my name is Karandeep Singh and this is uh, my artwork. So, our topic for this art is the multiculturalism. So, here in this painting, so first of all, we are very lucky that we are living in a country like New Zealand where there is no discrimination with any caste and color. So, in this painting, I try to draw the New Zealand map and you can see the rugby player who as a map who is playing the rugby and this is the ball and the, in the ball there is 1840 which represents like in 1840 where when the treaty of Waitangi was signed with the distant culture Mori and non Mori and this is the uh, Koru which represents the hope for the new life. And in this painting, the rugby player who 
Plain Gurdwi is supported by the different people from different uh, countries, but they are supporting our home country and the country where they are living. And in the background, uh, I try to draw the sun which represents that New Zealand is the country where the sun rises. And the beautiful cloud, the ocean and the beach. So, uh, in this, through this painting, I try to show that uh, we are living in the country where there are more than 200 of the distant culture. We are living in the country. So, I'm uh, very thankful to the various parts and public the library for the whole of this transmission. Thank you. I gave subtitle to my painting is the significance of traditions and symbols in New Zealand and Indian art and culture also. I pick six elements regarding Indian and Maori art. I intermix them together. I represent peacock feathers which is related to Indian national bird peacock and it symbolizes happiness and uh, have uh, very much significance in Indian Hinduism and I drawed painted Kanthakali face the dance which represents the dance of South Indian Kerala it depicts dance and art as well also I depict uh, Fulkari pattern which shows the Punjabi culture and tradition in a dress in the second part of painting I painted Koru and the fern which represents new beginning and sprouts of koru, the fern tree, which is the New Zealand tree, and second, the mask, which represents Maori culture and art, which makes the appearance, appearance, and by the side, I picked uh, in a Maori tradition dress patterns of red and uh, red, black, and white. I want to represent the unity and diversity of India as well as New Zealand. Thank you. Well done. Um, Asabno Sasyakal, Namaste, Hello, Kya Hora? My name is Rashi Shandiya. Uh, this is my painting. So my painting is based on the multiculturalism. Here, Mathologia uh, here, the, the many people understand English, so I like to talk in English so everyone can understand. Um, I want to um, define multiculturalism. What is multiculturalism? Is when people get together and celebrate Holi, Vesaki, Matariki, New Year, then we say multiculturalism. When people preserve their culture, get together, Regardless of race, ethnic, and color, then we say that is a multiculturalism. So, Methodology Methodology Jana Jani is a good thing. Basically, the main pattern of this art is treaty based multicultural future. Jiwe to se jante ho ki treaty ki hai. Treaty ek document jada sign ho asega. Two group to which, two ethnic group to which. First ethnic group is Sangita Treaty. The second group is Tanta Wano. Tanta Treaty belongs to the European people, British people. They migrated from the UK to the New Zealand. Another group, they are the indigenous people, Maori people. They belong to the group Tanta Wano. The treaty is signed between these two groups. What is treaty? So we all know that we all know that the, on the 6th February 1840, the treaty is signed. What is treaty? Treaty offer the Maoris to have their own land and they celebrate the culture. Here, here I depict two flags the Maori and the British flags. 
what does it, it mean? It symbolizes officially giving status to both lands. Here, he is a James Busky. In the history, if you heard about the James Busky, and he is the Muni Hiki. Muni Hiki is the chieftain of Morris. So, here I, I picked up the puzzle. Picked up the puzzle. So, I added both together. When they join, you see them still joining. This piece does symbolize peaceful and harmonious relation. The peacock holding up four leaves. Four leaves symbolize its harmonious relationship between two groups of ethnic, two ethnic groups. As you see here, the multiple faces of different color. It symbolizes the people's belongs from different race, different ethnic, different religions. We all live in multiple countries these days. In New Zealand, we see in New Zealand is a multicultural country. If you see uh, in the history, I'm not going to know you. <laughs> so, um, next to the point, monoculturalism. Monoculturalism means monoculture. Before British migrated to the New Zealand, it was a monoculturalism in New Zealand. The first person, Tasman, Abel Tasman, who discovered the New Zealand. This is the route. He followed this route from the Australian land and entered into the uh, South Island of New Zealand. So this is all about the history. So monoculturalism in the history it was the monoculturalism in New Zealand. After migration of British people to the New Zealand, they developed biculturalism. Biculturalism means two cultures. Later on, in in the present. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I'll finish in two minutes. In the present stage, biculturalism changed to multiculturalism. Because there are no more two culture now. We have a multiple culture in the museum. So this is all about my Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. And uh, we have a lovely, lovely little girl, and she has wonderful painting. And I think if you can just let's stand next to your painting. And she's she was the first, right? Second one doesn't matter. Everybody's first. And now you're going to tell your name, and you're going to talk about your painting. Thank you. My name is Jasmine, and my painting is about Mother Earth. First is solar energy. You should say energy. Switch off the lights that you don't need. Second is growing trees. You should um, always grow trees and um, never cut them because you could use it for dinner and paper. Third is um, save animals, don't kill them. Animals are really important to them. young age and I think if we have more young children like her we can have wonderful environmentalists 
And now we have this little baby out here. Ki hai chala ji? Ki hai chala? Madhya. Okay. What's your name? Ash Maxson. Okay. Can you talk about your painting, please? So I made a mother earth which has two equal sides and one side is of green land and trees in front of the sun in the house and the window and the other side the land grow bad and the earth got sad the houses grew and then the earth got sad Thank you so much for talking about it. There are a lot of people like you who think so Thank you so much. Come on, give them a big applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 From 10 to 16, so please come forward. Okay. So, one is one is already done. The first one is done. I think. No, no, and the, uh, the second one is done. Yeah, second one is done. There is the first, second, third, like that. Yeah. If you have the name, then tell the name. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Hello, my name is Sunita from the Papitwetwe Library. So we just want to acknowledge the winners. Congratulations from the library side. Congratulations, Vishika. Congratulations. Now is the Hazel. Thank you, well done, Karan. Thank you. Yeah. Done. Done. <laughs> yeah, already click. <laughs> K 
Can all the winners please stand with Sunita? Sunita, please stand there for a good photograph, please. Thank you.